You ready to say goodbye to toxicity? Um, no, I feel like I'm Shush. that toxic. Oh. Good? of emotion flooding back at once. Everything that was being suppressed by Abbott's water. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Probably just go out with seltzer water. We've seen this before. The same sludge that came out of the ape reanimated corpses before they crumbled into a heap. Wait, what does this have to do with Judge Abbott being poisoned? There's more going on here than we realize. <sighs> Things weren't adding up, so I hacked into Maggie's medical records from 1996, ones that were sent to a head trauma specialist in Bangor for a phone consultation. I compared the photos from the Bangor files with the ones from Pally General right here in town. Now, these photos should be identical. They have the same timestamp, but the wounds look different. This has two gashes. A curb wouldn't leave these marks. Based on those lacerations, it looks like Maggie was hit with an object. I'm still not a doctor, but those lacerations fit the shape of that horse. Which would confirm Nancy's theory that Logan attacked Maggie. If that's the case, someone not only altered Maggie's medical records in Horseshoe Bay, they changed her actual memory. We've seen memory erasing before. Logan was so forthcoming about Maggie's accident, it's like he didn't even know he had anything to hide. You think his memories were altered too? Hey, but what about Abbott? He suddenly cares about something that happened 20 years ago. After drinking supernaturally tainted water. If Abbott's memories of the attack were altered, then drinking the water must have restored them. A memory so upsetting it triggered a heart attack. Okay, say the water did that to Abbott. Why did it turn Nancy into a ticking toxic rage bomb? When I attacked Ace, I wasn't just trying to hurt him. I was compelled to hit him in the head. And I used that horse. That can't be a coincidence. Something in the water made you want to relive Logan's attack on Maggie? More like Logan's mindset and emotions of the crime mystically latched onto me, like when I absorbed the lust from the wedding dress. <laughs> yeah, but less fun. Did someone want Abbott to remember what happened? Or spike his water? If you're gonna spike anybody's water, why not spike Logan's? All Abbott did was make a horrible judgment call on a case of a teenage boy breaking into his crush's house. It's a small case. Could be it wasn't so small for Abbott. He was up for reappointment at the time he gave Logan his Boys Will Be Boys pass for the break-in. That is all kinds of disappointing. So because Logan wasn't in jail, he was able to go assault Maggie. If that's true, Logan could have gone back to Abbott to ask for help, stay out of jail again. Did Abbott try to make all this go away to protect his reputation and his job? Could Abbott and Logan have pulled off some kind of massive supernatural cover-up? How? And what does it have to do with the eight reanimated bodies and the sludge they released? And why is this cover-up coming undone now? 